Now, he is best known for his quick wit and his even quicker brain as his television alter ego, The Beast on the Chase. But Mark Lebet felt anything but invincible earlier this year when in February he was sent home from filming with what he now suspects was coronavirus. Uh, the illness had a devastating effect and he's here to tell us more. So, Mark, how are you feeling now? Well, I'm feeling wonderful. Uh the usual sort of slightly tired from looking after a hyperactive toddler, but uh, <laughs> um, medically I'm fine right now. So what, obviously you, you, you didn't have the test, so you can't confirm that it was actually coronavirus that you had, but what were the symptoms? Uh, well, the major one was a complete loss of um, taste and smell and no appetite. And I had the cough and the fever and, and, and bouts of exhaustion. But because I didn't have... Um, the problems breathing, and this was back in February, where that was the, the number one symptom. I thought I've just got some kind of virus. Yeah, and and you've said as well that obviously you, you you took to your bed, and that was where you recovered. But loss of appetite played a big part as well. Yeah, for two weeks I barely ate. So at the time I was thinking results. <laughs> you know, I, I I've got some reserves on on me, shall we say? So. Going a week or two with relatively little food is not a problem for me. Yeah. So was that was that brush with what you thought may have been coronavirus? Was that what made you, um, you know, lose lose the weight that you've continued to sort of keep off? Because obviously we know that there's a there's a connection with obesity and those people who fare less well if they get the virus. What was that was that within your thinking? Well, I think people are going to hate me because I haven't actually tried to lose weight. What's happened is, obviously, I had the, the, the brush with this virus, whatever it was, and since then, I haven't been going out, so I haven't been having sort of restaurant meals, etc. And uh, my wife uh, works uh, shift worker full-time, so I've been the primary carer for our son, and as many of our um, viewers will know, if you are looking after a, an active toddler 14 hours a day, seven days a week, you haven't got time to eat. <laughs> but, Mark, have you cho changed what you eat? You say mm. you, you haven't been able to go out because of lockdown, but have you changed what you actually eat? Because now Boris Johnson is urging us all to get out, exercise more and, and lose weight. Are you in tune with that message? Do you think people are more receptive to it? Um... A little bit. Obviously, being a, I was 27 stone when I was diagnosed with diabetes in 2016. I was 23 stone at my last checkup in March. And hopefully, when I get the next checkup in a month or two, I'll be a bit lighter than that with mm. luck. So, uh, who knows? But uh, the, the major one is, is just eating a bit more sensibly. And yeah. uh, I admit I'm doing more exercise these days. Are you doing it with a concerted effort to lose weight because of obviously, you know, there are links to obesity and, and suffering more severely with, with coronavirus? Or is this just an overall health thing that you were looking at before? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's just responding to events. I've just found that um, I haven't been that hungry. Perhaps it just shows that uh, if you get into almost like a habit of eating yes. lots and keeping there, and yeah. here when I'm at home, there's not so much food in the house. I'll often say miss lunch. I'll have a decent breakfast and just find there's so much on, on, my, pardon my, on my plate, just so much <laughs> to do that I haven't had time to eat. I'm, I'm always amazed. A number of people in the early days of lockdown who kept calling me saying, I bet you've got nothing to do, so would you like to do this? And we're kind of surprised where I was going, go away. Mark, you know, so many of us do. have obviously... Mark, so many of us have uh, obviously been in lockdown with our children 24-7. How's that been with you? Is it something that you've learnt, you know, is it something that you've learnt new about your child that you perhaps wouldn't have if you weren't in lockdown? Oh, it's been great with him running around. Obviously, he's three years old now and he's changing all the time and I'm trying my best to help him with his sums with my area of expertise. But at the same time, he doesn't seem to need as much sleep as a lot of other children do. <laughs> and if he then wakes up once or twice in the night, um, I'm a poster boy for sleep deprivation these days, <laughs> effectively. 
obviously lockdowns meant that you can't film the chase and you haven't been able to travel. So has that been hard to, for you to make that adjustment? Because every time I go to Australia, you're on telly there, you're a massive hit there. And, and you know, your career has effectively had to be put on hold. Has that been hard to cope with mentally? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm missing my, I love my work. I'm good at what I do. And it's, and it's really nice to be thought of as clever. Wherever I go in the English speaking world, people think I'm clever. Sometimes I can even back it up. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, I do miss up. Right now I'm waiting to work in London, Melbourne and LA. And unfortunately all those three cities have got yeah. problems at the moment of, of various kinds. I can almost imagine I'm going to get the call probably on the same day saying, can you hop on a plane or hop on a train? And, and suddenly they'll all want me one Monday morning, I suspect. And is it true that all you fellow chasers have been sort of keeping your, your, your quiz brain fired up? You're, you're still quizzing with each other? Uh, yes, we're doing a lot of online quizzes, but it's quality over quantity and we get invites and it's, it depends who's picking because there are some question masters who are really good and a lot who unfortunately aren't. So yeah. you tend to pick the ones that... Um, you find time. Plus, uh, it's finding the time. Uh, sometimes people say a quiz, when does it start? Nine o'clock, and I'm going, no, I'll be asleep by then. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> we were talking about that earlier. So, are you an early to better? No, not by nature, but uh, I took the advice of dear old Len Goodman when he was commuting from London to LA doing the, the two Strictly's. I said, How did you cope? And his response was, Whenever I feel tired, I go to bed. And I always thought that's really sound advice. So, you don't care what the time is. Yeah. If you're tired, you hit the hay. Yeah. yeah, that is good, good advice. Well, we're glad to have you on our screens and we hope to see you back on the telly doing the chase all around the world <laughs> or wherever it is that you end up, you end up doing it. Nice to hear that you're doing so well, Mark, and I'm glad you're feeling so much better. Oh, it's a pleasure, ladies. Always nice to speak to you. Oh, Aww. bye, Mark. Thank Aww. you, Mark. Bye, Mark. Aww. Goodbye. He's looking bye. really well. Yeah, he does.